not remember their log rules. So I felt this essential. I'm not going, I decided to nix the interest stuff and just get into some better stuff. Yeah, like remember the compound interest, the PERT and the one plus R over N to the NT. Instead, we're gonna jump straight to logs. So this unit will be about, it'll be a short unit, much shorter than the last. It will be all about logs and exponentials and then we will move on to trig. Yay! Yay! Okay. All right, so here we go. What is a log? A logarithmic function, yes. I used to say it all the time in algebra 2, logs are exponents. That's exactly right. Logs are exponents. So I can write in logarithmic form or I can write in exponential form. So this is logarithmic form here. Log. No. And I can change that to exponential form. Yes, the little e. So in exponential form, the base is b, the exponent, because logs are exponents, so they always equal exponents. So b to the x equals, well, the only thing left is a. It's all coming back, it's all coming. I can't sing as well as y'all, but I still like to. Thank you, y'all are so nice, but yeah, not really. Yeah, that's not always true, Brooklyn. We can all sing, it's just not well. If you can scream, you can sing. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're welcome. I'll be after. I'll be I'll be after for a little while. Not long though, but for a little while. All right. Logarithmic form, exponential form. Yes, no, maybe so. All right, let me give you a couple examples. Actually, before I do, what if, um, what if there's no base? Oh, look at y'all, it's 10. Because we operate on a base 10 number system, and that's why it's 10. So this is what we call a common log. And if, so it's just if there's no base there, then that means it's 10. Let's do a couple examples. Write this in exponential form for me. Seven squared is 49. Too easy, right? Say right, because it is. Like. Seven to the second equals 49. It was me, I did it. But it only, here's the thing though, it only works. It only works when the log is on the left side, and it only works when you go from log to exponential and not from exponential to log. Me? I know. <laughs> I just, yeah, okay, well, I can't even think of anything smart to say that, so I'm going to just do another one. Um, log base 9 of 27, is that a true statement or not? I heard no. Let's change the form and see. What's the base? What's the exponent? What's it equal? True or no? Nah? That's the square root of 9 to the third power. What's the square root of 9? What's 3 to the third power? Ooh, yeah. Remember rational exponents. So this is your root. Right? So this would be the square root of 9 to the third power, which is 3 to the third power, which is indeed 27. What if it's not true? These will all be true. 
if you're just changing the form. But, okay, perfect. Yes, if we're changing form. But what if I asked you to evaluate Tell me what it equals. All right, I heard two. So you're telling me that 36 to the second power is six? Mm. One half, why is it one half? One half is a square root. Your calculator only does base 10. Did you? Oh, I got half nine. Um, the exponent that would equal, so 36 to the what power gives you six? Um, True or false? Yeah. True. Tell me why it's true. Square root of 12 is 4 and 3, which is 2 and 3. So we know it's true. Write it in logarithmic form. Ah! Ah. Yes, there is. We're going to talk about this. Yes. Base is easy to remember because base is the base, right? I can figure out the base, and the base is written little as the base. And then if you remember, logs always equal exponents. That only leaves one thing to go here. We're just changing forms. Put them back and forth between forms right now. <laughs> Maybe. True, true or not? Nah? It's negative, then it's flipped over. So write it in logarithmic form. So log base 3 of 1 over 81, negative 4. Or you know that, what do negative exponents do? They flip it. So this is 1 over 3 to the 4. 3 to the 4th is 81, so 1 over 81. Okay. Without your calculator. Huh? Uh. Tell me what it equals. That's right. Seven. How did I do that? I started thinking two to the what power will give me 128. Two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. Seven times. <laughs> you will have quite a few of these on your test. Without a calculator. Choose definitely without a calculator. You'll have a non-calculator portion on this for your log. Two, two, that's exactly right. <laughs> you got excited with the ten. Ten, 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 oh, two. Two, yes, two. Ten to the two, 
or 10 to the second is 100, right? What if there's an amount? Good job, Christina. Close. Negative 2. Negative 2. Does the negative exponent causes it to flip? Yes. 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 Good job, Lainey. Why? Tell them why. So it's the fourth root this time. 16 to the what power is going to give you... You would need to take the fourth root of it, which is yeah. an exponent of one fourth. This is a challenge. Yay. I said it. Did you say it, Stella? What did you say, Stella? Negative three. No. Yes. 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 So we're going 27 to the what power gives me one third. I know it's got to flip. That's that's my clue that it needs to be a negative. So I know it's going to be negative something. Now, how am I going to get 27 to be three? It's one. It's, yeah, right. It's negative one third. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This one was hard. It's one third because I got to do the cube root of 27 and I have to flip it. I have to do both. Sorry. So what I get for going off script. Okay, nobody yelled the answer. Anybody, has everybody got it now? <laughs> On the count of three, everybody say what you got. One, two, put, no, 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 I didn't say three. I'm just kidding. Okay, three. <laughs> What'd y'all get? Zero. It's zero. <laughs> Anything to the zero power. These are so much fun. Ah, we need to do a cahoot with these. That would be fun. I can't, I can't, I can't do math. Don't blurt the answer out for this one, y'all. This one's hard. You weren't supposed to look at it already. <laughs> hey, y'all, if you haven't looked at the homework yet, you can do it. Okay, how are we supposed to even get this? 49 to the what power is 343. The first thing I notice about, what, what's the first thing you notice about 49? 
No, I'm not going to raise it to a whole power. But what what's special about 49? It's a perfect square. Does everybody see that? Well, 49 times 49, if I even think about 50 times 50, I'm at what? Yeah, it's it's big. Yeah. That would be what I, that's where, I, if I recognize it being a perfect square or a perfect cube, I might would start with that and see what happens. Is there something then that I could raise 7 to to get 343 because that's the square root? 3 or 4 is 3. It's 3. Well, cubes, remember whenever I told you now two, recognize cubes up through at least nine. Seven to the third is 343. Right? So if I took the square root of this and then cubed it, so let's think, square root and then cube, how could I write that as an exponent? That's right, three over two. The over two accounts for the square root, and then I need to raise it to the third power. So this would equal three over two. The two is the root. The bottom number is the root. The top number is the exponent. That one was tough. You just what? Did you? All right. <clears throat> okay, so natural log. Let me talk about that just a second. Natural log. That's an L, by the way. Everybody tries to put a one there. That's an L. LN, it's an L. Ah, they call me L McGee in second block. <laughs> I embrace it. I don't care. I'm like, no, Kenzie is a term of endearment. She's like, they're really not. And I said, I really don't care. Okay, LN is natural log. That just means a log that has a base of E. E is a button on your calculator. LN is also a button on your calculator. Either or. Now, if you push E, like if you had to do E to the third power, you'd push E. But if you do natural log of whatever, then you use the natural log button. She said, which button would you use, the E button or the, the LN button? And it depends on what you're being asked. If the problem asks for L, you can't use them interchangeably is what I'm saying. They're different. Yeah. Yes, they are. They cancel each other out. E is just an irrational number, just like pi, 2.71, some, 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 some. All right, now, what if you have something completely and totally unevaluatable on your own? In other words, I'm getting chased. So if if you get something and there is absolutely nothing, so like I told you on your test, there'll be a calculator portion and a non-calculator portion. On the calculator portion, they'll all you'll be able to come up with exponents that you could manipulate back to. But then on the non-calculator, you I mean on the calculator portion, you'll have to use the calculator to find them. And you can't just type in log six. So we use what we call change of base. Oh, I and it's not just good, we'll use it for other things. So I know that some of your calculators, you can go in that math and the newer ones, you can get it where you can explicitly tell it what base to do. But I want you to know change a base formula because we're going to use it for some other things a little bit later on down the road. So remember, this is just log 2 divided by log 6, and then I can do it on my calculator. Of course, there's no base here. This is a base 10. But I could do a base of anything. This allows me to change it into any base I want in order to evaluate this. I could make it log, natural log. 
I could make it log base seven if I want. It doesn't matter. The point is that it doesn't matter what the log the base is as long as it's the same on the top and the bottom. Then I can evaluate logs that way. Do y'all remember doing that? Yes, you'll always get like do it on your calculator and see. Do log two divided by log six, and then do natural log two divided by natural log six, and you should get the same thing no matter which one you do. There's your rule. If you want a general form rule there. Most calculators will not let you type in a base. You can only hit the log button and do a base 10 or the ln button and do a base E. All right. Change a base. Change, 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 Write that in exponential form. What is oh! <laughs> oh my God. You failed. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. Why do I write in fours like what? Like a four? Because it's kind of like whenever you write in cursive and so you don't have to lift up your, if I do this, that's two strokes, right? I got to lift up my pencil, but here it's just one. It's quicker. I bet it is. Well, then you're doubling up right there. No, I just look more precise. What does? <laughs> you wrote what? Where do you see twenty seven? You're changing base. We, I swapped back up on you and went back to changing forms. I just said put it in exponential form, so just do this. You can technically do it for all of them, but if you don't have a calculator, you can't do it for all of them. You see what I'm saying? What is this one in exponential? I mean in logarithmic form. Ln x equals one half. That's exactly right. Um okay, on your homework, because that's all I got for you. What do you mean? But yeah, those are straight calculator. You won't be able to do those. There's an Ln button. Uh Thirteen fourteen. Star these as I tell you. Thirteen fourteen. Sixteen seventeen eighteen. Yeah. Thirteen fourteen. Sixteen seventeen eighteen. You should be able to do without a calculator. I think you might be able to do 24 without a calculator. Let's see, 64, 4. Yes.
Oh, and 24. Don't look. All right, so 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. No. And 24. Those are the ones I see right off that I know you could do without a calculator. How to do what? Evaluate the log? So if I had log base, I think I already did that. Let's see. Um, log base 81. What do I need to raise 81 to in order to get 3? Yeah. What's flipped? It's not flipped because it's not a fraction. So I need to think in terms of a root. Oh, that's a cube. That's a cube, isn't it? Isn't it 81 cubed? It's a four. One fourth. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Do 81 to the one fourth. You'll have to practice with it. What's three?